Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, who are your shows, Desolation, Specials, Specials, Minions, Meat Sacks, Music Fans. Yes, it's that time again, as my regulars know, I do uh, occasional videos about music, particularly when uh, icons have passed, uh, musical legends. There's no real rhyme or reason to uh, who I decide that I'm going to do a video on, although it generally has to do based on one, my personal experience, how important they were to me in my musical experiences uh, over the years, as well as uh, what uh, what was their contribution. And uh, so there seems to be some glaring omissions about who I cover, but uh, in the end, I, I, I try to cover people who uh, really are underdogs. I've become a champion of the underdog. No surprise there. So uh, what we have is the passing of Andy Frazier, uh, the bass player for the band Free. And um, most people are familiar with the band Free from uh, their, their uh, huge international hit, All Right Now, which has been a regular on the radio ever since it was first released in, I believe, 1970. Huge hit. Pretty catchy tune, but as with so many bands, uh, their hits are, are hardly uh, their best material, um, although some would argue that. But uh, Andy Frazier uh, was an interesting character for a number of reasons. One, the, the age he started. He was only 62 when he died uh, last week, uh, March 17th, I believe. And um, he joined John Mayles Blues Breakers when he was only 15 years old. And uh, he was 16 when he joined Free in 1968. And the original lineup of Free was together from 1968 to uh, roughly 1972, 1973. At that point, uh, new members were brought in, uh, including a, a, a bass player to replace Andy Fraser. And uh, so Andy Fraser moved on to make records with the Andy Fraser Band, as well as a very Free influenced a band called Sharks uh, with uh, the equally legendary guitar player Chris Spedding. So, uh, so anyway, let's get back to Free. One of the, one of the reasons why Andy Fraser is a, a giant uh, is because at the age of 16 and joining this group Free, not only did he co-write and, and write uh, most of all the material of the original band, but he was noted for his uh, very spare uh, melodic. Uh, style of playing, which also included uh, not being afraid to use the high register, so it gave Free a very uh, interesting sound, very economical sound, a very stark sound. Uh, they were not, uh, they had a lot of kinship with bands of the era, but also nota uh, notable by the fact that they were so understated. And Andy Frazier's uh, bass playing and writing um, uh, had everything to do with how Free sounded. And uh, an interesting uh, combination of musicians. Uh, Paul Kossoff, the legendary, legendary guitarist of Free, who died later from complications from years of uh, heroin addiction, but a uh, very uh, uh, distinguished and distinctive guitarist in his own right. And uh, of course, Paul Rogers on vocals, who went on to uh, Bad Company, and um, then uh, Simon Kirk on drums, uh, who also went on to Bad Company. And uh, Free were definitely in some of their parts, but uh, as the years go on, I've grown to appreciate Andy Frazier's uh, complete uh, vision in that band. Um, in a lot of ways, uh, it ends up being his band, and um, he he will be missed. And his work with the Andy Frazier band was also actually quite notable, as well as his work with uh, Sharks and um, his uh, distinctive style uh, noted on there. And so uh, he did a a lot of other work uh, over the years, but uh, I, I'm just going to focus in on that moment uh, when his uh, star shone the brightest uh, with the group Free. Uh, amazing uh, bass player, uh, uh, amazing writer, and a uh, great musician. You will be missed. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.